Hi you guys! So it's Paola and nowadays with the pandemic going on and this all everyone being in quarantine, everyone's really relying on social media apps such as TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook and they're completely taking over our generation and if we don't take precautions then it can affect our generation very negatively so I'm here to present to you guys the that social media does more harm than it does well today I will be presenting the problems associated with social media the negative effects with social media and the solutions so the problems with social media so one of the big, big problems that we do have uh, among our youth is cyberbullying. So according to the article Cyberbullying Statistics published by Bullying Statistics in 2015, over 25% of uh, adolescents and teens have been bullied repeatedly through their cell phones or the internet. Basically, out of four kids, one always got bullied or received death threats or any kind of harassment online. My best advice is to involve the police if you repeatedly get harassment via online because nothing is worse than getting messages from people that you have no idea or maybe comment acquainta uh, common acquaintances that you guys have and they're just harassing you because they don't like you or just certain stuff like that. And it can turn into a real nightmare. There's also stalkers that are just living a different life online and can also take advantage of our youth. I personally have had an incident uh, where someone was sending me messages and I had to block them. Thank God I never got to a like danger point, but you know, I always recommend that you always contact an adult or contact the police if you are receiving harassment. Another problem associated with social media are the health issues. There's a lot of mental health issues that are increasing with the use of social media. So according to the article, Social Media and Ad Adolescents and Young Adults Mental Health, written by Alina Mir, Caroline Novus, and Megan Seymour, retrieved on November 16th of 2020, published by the National Center for Health Research, states that 32% of young adults have been diagnosed, diagnosed with depression. So a lot of our youth is facing struggles with mental health, with anxieties and depression, and I think that social media is kind of a reason that is associated with it because we're kind of just living off of what the screen is, what society and the screen is telling us to live by. And I think that that's a lot of pressure on our youth, which kind of makes them feel like, oh, they don't fit in with a certain group, which can impact our, our youth as well. Also, the perception of life can be affected. Online life can give alternate identities. Social media can glorify topics such as suicide and abusive relationships. They can kind of paint a picture that is really non-existent. Um, you, you can see like famous people and celebrities post about their significant other and then, and, and then you end up reading an article about them how one person was abusing the other. So you never want to believe what's on the screen. And I think that social media kind of paints a picture that's not true. So now that I've discussed the problems associated with social media, I'm going to be discussing the negative effects. So secondly, we have negative effects regarding social media. So there's something called internet addiction or other known as compulsive internet use. And basically it's a disorder that can take over your life and create isolation. You don't have any human interaction. You also have alternate personas living in the online world. You're not really interacting with those around you. In fact, you're interacting kind of by yourself or with those people that, again, are living in that alternate world online as well. Also, there is explicit content that you can be exposed to, especially our youth now that everybody can easily access YouTube or easily access any of these following sites like 
Pornhub OnlyFans, um, an article written by the American College of Obst Obstetricians and Gynecologists published in 2016, quoted, exposure to violent pornographic material has been linked to sexually aggressive behaviors, and data has shown that boys exposed in early adolescence are more likely to engage in sexual harassment in middle adolescence. So basically, kids that are exposed to these explicit content are more likely to to face um, problems in their relationships and eventually they can commit crimes such as rape or sexual harassment and I this again this is all linked to social media because we have such easy access with our phones now it's just with the click of a button and that can do more harm mentally physically and emotionally so now that I've discussed the negative effects regarding social media, I'm going to be discussing some positive and helpful solutions that can help use social media appropriately. So finally, solutions and tips for social media. So there are some tips according to an article published by the National Center for Research, and it was published in 2020. So basically you wanna choose a day to turn off all your social media apps a break time that's how I see it you want to turn off your notifications for a few hours and also these tips help prevent us sticking to our phones to not stick to our phones all day or simply you can just turn your phone off personally I like to turn my phone off and just ignore it because sometimes we can get sucked in with the life that we have on this little device also if you are receiving threats um, harassment, anything that you feel like you should talk to an adult about, you can dial 911 if any crime has been committed. You can also um, dial the suicide hot hotline if you are considering taking your life. Also, you can talk to a counselor or an adult that you trust. So in conclusion, now that I've discussed the problems with social media, the negative effects caused by social media, and some solutions. There are many issues that our social media platforms have on us and they can damage us if we don't use it properly. If we stick to being mindful about the things we watch, post, or read, social media can be positive. But if we let our devices run our lives, it can have negative consequences. So the best I can say is stay safe online. Thank you, guys.